Hey, Tim with Perkins Roofing. You can see, we're in the truck right now. This is the port. This is what we have to do every day when we're going to the island. This is what all my guys have to do every single day. I haven't showed this part of the video yet because it's kind of boring, maybe. But just to show you what we have to deal with when we're doing this job. We got a line here. For ferry access, we gotta go around this whole thing. Here's what the ferry looks like, so we gotta ride this boat. But this line comes all the way around this parking garage, goes through the parking garage. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And then this boat, this ferry boat behind me, is gonna go all the way over there where Fisher Island is. So we have to drive onto the boat here, wait in line to get on the boat, finally get on the boat, and then go to the island. And all my guys have to do this every single day, including all the equipment, which the equipment is even harder because we have to worry about tide. So a tide higher and lower, there's only certain times that you can bring it across. So this is just one of the pains with working on Fisher Island and getting to this job that you haven't really seen yet, but we've been doing this the entire project. Every single guy that gets on the island and you all have to have certain security clearances too. So it's not like they just let anyone on the island, but they do a security background check on all the guys. You can't have like anything on your record. You gotta be perfect, perfecto record. Uh, have a American ID and everything like that. So it ain't the easiest to get on Fisher Island. So 30 minutes later, here we are. I'm still in line. You see my beautiful Fisher I Island ID here. That's what they give you. If you don't have it, you can't get on. But check this out. Still in the garage, still in line. Been 30 minutes. It's gonna be another 30 minutes probably before we get on the boat. So we'll fast forward then. But this is the fun of working on Fisher Island, dealing with this every day. Here we are, another 30 minutes later. We're actually cruising now on the boat. We got South Point Miami Beach right there. We've done a few of those roofs. See this boat moving here, but yeah, it took about an hour to get on the boat. The boat ride takes another 15 or 20 minutes or so to get to the island. See all the trucks on here. See the eyebrows here from the ground. It's kind of hard to access this. We're over a person's unit here. But you can see some of these eyebrows are only a couple of stories like that one. But some of them get pretty high up too. We walk around the edge here. And there's our high reach machine on the water there that we've been using. Today it's shut down because they're demobilizing the crane. So can't get in that bad boy today. But we can see right here and right here. We have both these little sections. And some of them are higher up, like all the way up there, right there. It's like seven, eight stories up right there. The high reach machine on the beach. Here's our beautiful high reach machine on the beach that we are not allowed to use today because they're breaking the crane down. They're gonna be moving traffic all along the back roads because of the crane. Uh, so now the cranes, they're getting rid of that crane. So here's the high reach. This is a 135 foot boom here. So it gets 135 feet of telescopic reach right here. And this is what we're using to access these eyebrow roofs. You can see there's one right here that has not been demolished yet. That one there has been, you can see the brand new copper on it. And you can see these lower ones also have been started. But these eyebrow re uh, roofs, we all have to access via the high reach. We're not allowed to go into these people's units. Some of these you can't even access through the units anyway. 
unless you jump out of the window, there's not balcony access directly to them. So we have to use the high reach to access these and to do this work. All this work is being done from this little basket right here. That's including tearing off, getting new material up, getting the new tiles up, all out of this little basket and new, resealing all the new flashing. So we have some here that are about one story, two story, we can't drive the machine on that paver or else it'd break it. And then we've got the ones all the way up here, but you can see in the drone video, all the different little eyebrows that now we're hitting. Now that a lot of the main roof has been completed and we're just finishing up the tiles on the main roof, we're hitting these little details here and we're gonna be doing the lobby tiles pretty soon. And we should be wrapping this project up in about four to six more weeks, something like that. So around another month, month and a half, and we'll get everything wrapped up here. But these little details like this take time because working out of this, I can't have 10 or 20 guys working on the roof out of this thing. You only have two guys working on it. So it slows that type of work down uh, considerably when you're working out of the little box, out of the little basket here to do these eyebrow roofs on the building. You see they're breaking the crane down to get this thing out of here. To take the crane down, they actually needed another crane. This crane was so big, there's this little white crane truck here, right here, just to get this other one all broken down and tied out to get it out. You see they had to close the whole road down here to get this thing out of here. And with this road closed down, they're rerouting all the traffic around the road behind the building, which is why we can't use the high reach machine today or we're not working on those eyebrows. You know, it takes a lot of people. I got two ground people here and then a crane company has people here too, just to break this crane down. I am on the south side roof right now. All of the tile roof on the south side is completed. And we showed you this last time around. We are only pending the flat roofs on the south side. The coatings are all completed on the inside. See the birds are already making their mark on our new roof here. <laughs> and all the mortar is done. And when we go to the center, we'll see the guys installing the mortar. So you can see it's all done on the hips and ridges here. And end laps and wall laps on the south side roof. Let's go to the center and that way you can see what the guys are doing. mortar I'm over right now on the center section you can see we're doing the cement down these hips looking nice and pretty the ends all get like mounded in so you'll see a mound right on the very end the very corner when it's completed I think I showed you that on the other side but you see here you want a nice consistent finish this is all pre-mixed mortar so the colorant is already mixed in there so you don't get inconsistencies with the color it's all dry so I don't want to step over it things like this are also gonna get flashed in so you see this vent here this is gonna get like a mound basically built around it and we'll see that on the other roofs as we go through them you see right here, like this side is already drying on that hip. And before we start installing 
the mortar. You can see the ridge metal here sticking up on the ridge. This ridge metal is gonna help make sure these tiles are nice and secure. They don't blow off the old way. And you see this in a lot of older homes or up north in Northern Florida, in Northern Florida, like Palm Beach even, they won't use this ridge metal. They'll save money and not use this ridge metal. And then when you do that, you just put the tiles and they're just concreted in. They'll, when the concrete cracks out, those tiles will just fall right off. And they'll just do that. Inspector won't see it. They're not gonna say anything. So it's why it's important to hire the right roofer because people will cut car corners where they won't install your hit metals and ridge metals, or they'll screw tiles in instead of foaming the tiles in. You can see how secure all these tiles are, how good everything looks up here. That's a custom 10 by four copper flashing instead of our four by fours, which we're using everywhere else, like right here. Up on the cupola roof up here. See, that's a four by four metal up above me. You can see our rake tiles installed here. No mortar up here yet. And these are still open with the polyurethane. You see some of these vents, you can see these vents haven't been changed out yet. Some of these vents are gonna get changed out with new copper vents. So we're gonna be doing that. You see those ones are in good condition, so those ones are not being replaced. As these ones are. And so down here in the center tower, we're working on this mortar. Up there, they're doing some detail punch out work on the south side. And then the north side, you can see our eave closure metal, or it's not metal, eave closure, clay, clay eave closures all installed on the edge here. And you can watch the last couple of videos to see what that install looks like, where we detail it pretty well on those ones. Back on the south side, just so you can see what the mound I was talking about it looks like on the end, finish cement. So this skylight here has been a little bit of a nightmare. This covering is just plastic. And to put a custom piece here, Skylight Company wants like 14 grand, which is insane. I know it's Fisher Island, but that's insane. We're trying to work with them on making some sort of, maybe custom two piece on this skylight. And you can see this thing is gonna have to be custom wrapped with copper. All this is redone. So all of this is gonna have to be reflashed with this copper base flashing before we can start doing the tiles around this skylight. And we need this custom piece figured out of the skylight before we can do any of that. So this is gonna be like our last detail for the whole roofing project is dealing with the skylight. So you can see this is in bad shape here. It's copper, it's all new flashing. cuts for the saddle here to make sure everything fits in nice in the saddle.
right here, you can see the valley pan cuts. They're just set out for when they're needed, when we start foaming in the valley right here. So we've got a couple different install guns here, different guys working. Some guys prefer to put all the pans out first and then do the caps after. And then some guys prefer to do pan cap, pan cap, pan cap simultaneously. It doesn't really matter, it's just whatever works better for the workflow of the installers. So these guys are doing pan, 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 pan. Whereas if you watch like uh, clip number five, the guys doing the cement down there, those guys do pan cap, pan cap, pan cap. That's just their preferred method uh, for my different groups of guys here working. So this is Fisher Island part eight. You can see the guys putting those tiles down behind me. Got our guys over here finishing up that cement work. It's mostly tile work and then detail work on the eyebrows and the fly roofs right now. Obviously not working on the eyebrows today because the crane is coming down. Beautiful day, getting hot and getting sunny. So these guys have to cover up and protect themselves from the UV. So when we started this job, it was cold and windy. That's what happens on these big jobs is you go through different seasons on them. But if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, follow the Perkins Roofing channel. Check us out on social media. And if you need roofing at all in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Monroe counties, call 305-MIA-ROOF. And then for Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie counties, call 561-559-ROOF. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next time, hopefully I'll be able to get up in one of those high reaches. I really wanted to do that today. Uh, and work on these eyebrows and check it check out the work going on the eyebrows because that's really one of the last details that I want to show of this installing you can see we've got our copper going on here um, We still have to put our copper on here as we're finishing This north side of the roof now the center is more or less done the south is done and We'll move down to the lobby. It's gonna be the same thing that you're seeing up here uh, Except one story so way easier and less to look at because you're not gonna see the ocean when we're on the lobby so I really want to focus the next video on those eyebrows and showing you that eyebrow work because that's some pretty intense stuff up there. It's a hard area to work on and it's, it's different. It's not something you're going to see in other roofing YouTube channels. So thanks again for watching and following our videos. We really appreciate it. Perkins Roofing, Fisher Island, Part 8. Tim.